Today we are taking a look at Libratone Live AirPlay speakers. Libratone is a single loudspeaker which supports Apple's AirPlay as a method to send audio to it wirelessly. It is one of the latest AirPlay loudspeakers to come to Singapore. Designed in Copenhagen, the Libratone has a unique design. It looks kind of like a wedge with a beautiful textured front. It also comes in a few different colors including red, black, green and this grey. The design is very much Apple inspired and extremely simple. So much so that there's just one button on the entire loudspeaker right at the top in the front which allows you to turn it on and mute it. Everything else is done to the device you're using to control it. To control the Libertone Live loudspeaker, you need it to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the device you want to control it with. This is kind of complicated to do on a device that has no buttons or screens. Uh, it kind of involves connecting to Libertone's own Wi-Fi network using your smartphone or laptop and then setting your home Wi-Fi settings through that interface onto the Libertone and then kind of starting the Libertone. The complexity ends there and once the Libertone is connected to your home Wi-Fi network, it works like a charm. Now any AirPlay compatible device is able to send audio to your Libertone. An AirPlay icon will come up beside the play controls and you can click on it and choose your Libertone loudspeaker. We tried it using an iPod to send audio to it and it worked like a charm. Play controls, volume adjustment and all is done using the device itself and not the loudspeaker. On the Mac and Windows, iTunes can be used to send audio to your Libertone loudspeakers. And if you're unable to use the Wi-Fi, fret not, there's a standard audio jack for those who are not willing to give up on wires which can be found at the back of the loudspeaker. Audio quality wise the Libertone does pretty well for its size. It has a great sound and a wide range. You won't get a thumping bass from this but I guess that was never the intended application. It has a nice bright and well balanced sound. The biggest flaw I felt in this was the fact that it was a mono loudspeaker. Any audio you send to it is just squashed down to a mono mix. While some things sound good in mono, others just sound totally off. An operatic piece that Farinelli was listening to sounded completely off and flanged through this loudspeaker and almost unlistenable. Other tracks lost their presence when heard through the libertones. But for non-music purposes, it sounds pretty good. Podcasts and videos off the internet sounded very good listening through the libertone live. And finally, the lack of wires made it a great mobile loudspeaker which I could move around the house by just picking it up and plugging it in somewhere else. Extremely convenient when I wanted to listen to podcasts while cooking lunch. Overall, the Libertone Live is a super convenient loudspeaker. Airplay works like a charm and makes putting music on so much more fun. Audio-wise, the mono mix really breaks the deal, but otherwise it makes a really good loudspeaker. If that doesn't bother you so much and neither does the price of $1200, it might be a great option for you. It surely does look really, really sweet. And that's it for this episode of Gear 65. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website at tech65.org for more of our awesome tech news and reviews.